What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're taking a look at a gold farm that you guys can do solo or with friends. They both work and yes it is old content. And this was actually a suggestion from a, like a member of my discord, a viewer of mine, HDB. So big credits to him for reminding me of it. And he pretty much said that all of the green items in Seraph Mortis does have a unique appearance, right? And he's, he's right, like every single set... You can take a look at the staccato mantle, for instance. And if you take a look at my ATT, you can see that it doesn't share an appearance with any other item. So it's unique. And it has gone up 600% in market value because no, one's, no one is in Seraph Mortis anymore, right? And it's the same thing for all of these items. Uh, the Ant Medic links, like there are also 10,000 gold in my realm. Not that many auctions. They don't share any appearance. Uh, same thing with the shoulders, 12,000 gold. Don't share any appearance. Uh, this weapon, 50,000 gold, doesn't share any appearance whatsoever, right? So there's a lot of different farming locations uh, to obtain greens in Seraph Mortis. Uh, we first did the portal area over here. And it's, it's fine. It works great. You can also do like beasts around these globes to also get, uh, you know, the materials that you need for protoforms and tetas to make the battle pets. However... I'm a sucker for RNG, so I want to, to go into the uh, the Dread Portal, this sandy area right here, because it can drop one of the coolest weapons ever, which is like a million gold. And we're talking about this one, the Varad's Guillotine. So this sword looks cool, and it's one of those transmogs that people don't buy it just to add it to their wardrobe, but never use it. People actually specifically look for this one so they can use it for their transmog set. And as you can see, it's currently 1.3 million gold in my realm, has market value on EU of 850,000 gold. And the sickest thing, considering that this is a 1 million gold item, look at the sell rate, 0 0.036, not bad for a million gold item. And even the reach in sales average, which tends to be very low compared to the market value, because you have some clowns selling them extremely cheap, while others sell it at the market value. But even that is at above, uh, like way above 400,000 gold. So this is a great weapon. So not only do you get a lot of gold from the green items of Seraph Mortis that are unique, but you also have a chance of getting the Varus Guillotine. And on top of that, there's also cosmetic items. Now, these cosmetic items, they weren't good when Seraph Mortis came out. They were like less than 100 gold each at some point. But now, since no one is doing it, they have actually spiked a lot in value. Like, they're not bad at all. It's just additional gold. I mean, I made like 25,000 gold just in cosmetic items uh, while being here. Um, so they're also just bonus gold, right? Now, how hard is it to get the Avarid's guillotine, though? Because back when Seraph Mortis was current content, uh, I did many hours in a, a five-man group or a two-times-four group where nobody at all got it. Like, an hour in, nobody would get this sword. So we did it on my live stream and take a look at this. If you take a look on the right side, you can see that we've been doing it for, uh, well, the timer started at 60 minutes. So we've done it for like roughly 50 minutes and we got four of them. Like, luckily I got one as well. And Scarble, he managed to get two of them, which is insane. I've never seen four of these drop in an hour. Now keep in mind, we are doing this with eight people. So there's also like... Five people that didn't get it because uh, one guy got it twice, right? Uh, but uh, these are not normal numbers. You should walk into this thinking that it's a priest in the park. If you could average a sword in an hour or every two hours or even every five hours, uh, then you, it most likely wouldn't be a million gold, right? Uh, however, it is just bonus gold on top of uh, mods that are already and cosmetic items that are already making you a decent amount of gold. So don't think that this is the norm, but take a look and see that it is extremely viable. And keep in mind that we are doing this in a 2 times 4 but as I said, you can easily solo this. Like, we had an issue where people would kill the mobs too fast, like not both groups tagged the mobs before they died. So soloing this now on level 70 is no problem at all. It really isn't. And as I said, for the location, you pretty much want to kill all the Moss Warren mobs in this area. 
If you have not unlocked Seraph of Mortis, and that's the reason why this farm is so good, because there's so many people that don't have access to Seraph of Mortis because they quit the game before Seraph of Mortis came out, then you gotta do like campaign quests in Shadowlands in order to open up uh, Seraph of Mortis. Now, if you've done it on your main, but you now leveled an alt to level 70 that didn't unlock the uh, Seraph of Mortis, you can skip like the Torgas quest line uh, and um, a couple of other quest lines just talking to the NPC and be like, yo, I've been through this before, I want to skip it. And then after a couple of talking quests, you will get access to Seraph Mortis uh, on your alts. That's what I did on this monk. Uh, so just thought that I would do an update on this farm as I definitely consider this to be really good. And these are the greens that I got from one hour of farming. So I'm obviously not even close to getting one of each green item that Sir Mortis has to offer from each of the sets. So I'm going to have to do it again. And uh, I'm not expecting to get another Varid skill inside, but that would be absolutely insane. Uh, I kind of also want to use this for my own mod, but for 1.3 million... I think I'm going to wait for the price to dip down a little bit. But that was it for today's video. If you want to see these videos before anyone else, and all my videos before anyone else, make sure to take a look at the VIP Discord. It's pretty much like a Patreon, where you sign up and you get access to a VIP-only Discord, where uh, all of my YouTube videos gets uploaded to the Discord before they go live on YouTube. I also share my investments uh, in new farms. We test out stuff together. You get prioritized invites for gold farms and much more. So that's going to be linked down below together with the zero to 10 million gold guide. So make sure to check him out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye bye.